What's up everybody, this is Rob Shack. So today we're going to be doing the next video in my Grand Theft Auto 4 2022 walkthrough. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Help me get to a thousand subs. We're hoping to get there by the end of the year. So thank you all so much for the support. Only 7% of my viewers are subbed at this time. So what we're going to do is I'm going through all of the game. Last week I did a max speed test for the rest of the Red Emblem car that I won. Today we're going to be using the Nismo 270R94 to race in the Sylvia race. We should, this should be pretty fun. Shouldn't be too hard. Um, should be pretty fun. Um, yeah, again, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. This is a very rare Nismo 270R based on the Sylvia S14. There's very few of these that exist in real life. I think there's like 50 of them or something like that because they're very rare, but they're good cars. Um, I don't really know. I don't think there's going to be any AI fails, so I'm not like super... I'm not going to have any idea of what to push for on this, so I'm just going to kind of go through it. I'll talk about the car. Talk about my playthrough, my walkthrough. As I've said before, I'm trying to do this game where I basically use every prize car in something, in some race. Now that includes crappy cars that are terrible, so we're going to have to see how we do that. But it's going to be interesting, because some of these cars are very bad that I've won in prizes. So we're going to we're gonna have to make some magic happen with some of them. But for now, we're doing good. Um, some of the race cars are very easy to use, because you know obviously we unlocked... The Nismo GTR, not the Nismo, but the, the R35 GTR concept, so that thing destroyed, we, you know, Sylvia, Nismo 270R is very good, beats everything very easily, so it's going to not be a challenge here either. Um, but then, of course, yeah, when we won the Honda Life Step Ban and the Volkswagen thing, I'm like, okay, this is going to be, this is going to be a doozy to win. How are we going to win races with these, like, really, really slow cars? So... We're probably going to tune them up pretty good and enter them into some race that's like terrible or something and just see how we do. It'll be a challenge. It'll be a huge challenge for sure. So we'll, we'll see. We'll have fun with it though. Um, as of now, we are coming up on the S15 who's just making his way up through the pack slowly. <laughs> but he's doing a good job of it. And I'm going to go ahead and start trying to kind of push up a little bit more because we have a goodness, a 80s 270 RS that seems to be very, very good in this race right now, so that's kind of interesting. But we're going to, I guess at this point, still keep up with the S15. We are better than him, but he's newer, so there's going to be some technology advantages for the 99 over the 94, but I'm just going to go ahead and kind of, they kind of drive on their ghost tracks, so if you try to make a pass, they will, they will make contact. It's very difficult to play older Grand Theft Auto games in literally not have it, it be completely clean like they're gonna hit you because if you if you make a pass and do it like sort of a lunge they will just pretend you're not even there and just try to knock you out of the way so it happens yeah it's fine but um so far the s15 has made the pass on every single other car in this race which is pretty cool it's nice to see the ai actually pass people and now we're coming up on the i think it's a 240 rs who seems to be really good i was Pleasantly surprised. I kind of hope I win that car in this race because I didn't think this would be in the Sylvia race, but it's it's a good car. It, it kind of kicks butt and it's beating every other Sylvia. I think it's not as fast as the S15, but I think the S15 is the fastest one in the of the Sylvias that are like the main series. And the 270R is kind of unique in that it's not really a main car. I wouldn't call. I mean, it might be considered a production car because there was like 50 of them, but that's not the same as, like... I, I kind of doubt it would be in every race. We'll have to see. But, um... This car and then the uh, Nismo GTR LM Road version are, like, kind of unique in that they're, like, not really... They might count as production cars, but I would probably guess they're not going to be. So, that is a stipulation in later races in this game, is you want they want production cars, and I'm like, ugh, it's tough when they do that, because I'm like, yeah... A lot of the cars that you win as concept cars are concept cars that are not production cars. So it's going to be a challenge. But this was actually a very narrow race, barely beating out the Nissan 240RS thing. It honestly looks really great. It's a good looking car, but yeah, we, we had to work kind of hard to beat that thing. Oh, it's a Sylvia. Okay, it is a Sylvia 240RS. Yeah. But anyway, the... um interesting thing about that is the Nissan Sylvia Q's arrow is usually 
not very good. I, even in the original Gran Turismo game, the Silvia Q's R is like not a good car. I don't know why the S14 is like is in the position it's in. It seems like it's just not very good. <laughs> I don't know why. Anyway, so I'll just let the replay go. I'll just kind of show passes with the AI, but thank y'all for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video and have a great day. Peace.